Thank you very much for uh, attending the lesson. And uh, this is our first lesson. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to our first lesson, uh, Grade 7 Computer Science. And uh, without wasting time, uh, my name is Mwani Mubini Namai. I'm teaching online uh, lessons and also in uh, a school. I'll be taking you through computer science and agriculture. Thank you. So, uh, from the first uh, uh, video I sent, uh, I happen to have given you all the content we are going to look at uh, this year or in grade 7 computer. And uh, the first topic is the foundation of science foundation of science which is topic one or strand one and the topic starts by letting us know the definition of a computer uh, and very fast without wasting time because i want to take very few minutes uh, knowing a computer is very important first thing we have to know that a computer is an electronic device whose main role is to process data into information so a computer is an electronic device that processes data into information somebody may ask you a simple question what is an electronic device an electronic device is usually um, any device that must work using what you call power or electricity so without electricity that device cannot work and a computer is one of them mentioning a few you know them the radios we have the televisions we have the iron boxes we have the fridge we have the cookers we have the uh, other machines that are used electricity all of those are called electronic machines and when a computer is working it receives its data it stores the data, it organizes the data, and it processes the data for you. So now we have been told that a computer processes data. What is data? So before I give you the definition of data, the word computer uh, is a Latin word that came from the word computare. Computare was simply to compute or to calculate. So that was the meaning of computer it came from the word computer which means calculate so uh we are also reminded that a computer cannot work with electricity alone it must have programs and the programs are simply set of instructions that a computer must follow when performing tasks set of instructions these software as you see they are not something you can hold in hand or extract from the computer it is a written program the programmers know how to do it very well so they write a program which is certain instructions to the computer that the computer follows when it is performing some tasks the last thing in this lesson today very brief lesson is a computer science now you will be asked what is computer science and simply computer science is the study of computers and how the computer technology can be used to solve problems and you know just imagine uh, right now with this current uh, regime or this current century you remove all the computers in the world a lot of things will come to a standstill so having the computers in the world has really helped uh, human beings to solve uh, problems and the study of all that the study of computers together with the technology in the computers and how it is used to solve problems that is the definition of the word computer science so computer science is the study of computers and how the computer technology is or can be used to solve uh, problems the last thing I want us to do is to know the meaning of the word data. And data 
We have said a computer is an electronic machine that processes data into information. Now, what is data? That's the question. Data, if you look at the keyboard, a keyboard has a lot of things you enter in the computer. And one of them is the numbers. On the keyboard, we have numbers. Then we have letters. We have symbols and other things that are needed to be entered in the computer. So uh, in the simple terms, a keyboard has some data you enter in the computer. So forms of data we have, we have numbers, we have letters, we have symbols, we have images. Even images can be entered in the computer, including videos. So those things are many I am mentioning are types of data which can be entered in the computer. We enter them in the computer so that they can be processed. And data is meaningless. Data is meaningless. When now it is processed, it becomes meaningful. So simply, as I finish up, data refers to raw facts, numbers or symbols, images that are not processed. And they are meaning, that is not meaningful to the user. So until it is processed, data is now becomes useful. So once data is processed, the name changes into information. So information is processed data and information is meaningful to the user. Thank you for our short lesson. This is, has been our lesson number one, part A. And also, uh, if you don't get it, you can go to my YouTube channel, Mwalimu Vini. Uh, uh, I'll be posting all my lessons there in grade seven. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you.